Hello students, welcome to Capman Academy and today we are going to discuss gene cloning vectors, another part which is bacteriophages. So as we know, bacteriophages are also used as gene cloning vectors, right? And why? Because they have some special features. For example, their insert capability is higher, capability is higher than the plasmid cloning vectors plasmid cloning vectors that is why bacteriophages has been modified and developed they are also known as virus based cloning vectors right and their transformation efficiency is 16 fold higher we have high transformation efficiency as compared to other vectors, right? So, we already know about the lambda phages and their infection cycle. Let's review that again. So, lambda phages, as we know, they are linear, double stranded phage, right? And it has a genome size which is 49. Kilo base pair, double stranded DNA phage, right? And it can infect the E. coli bacterial cells and kill them, right? And also, it has higher transformation efficiency, higher efficiency, right? Another important thing is it's light. Sorry, another important thing is the infection cycle about the phages. So as we know, infection cycles are of two types, lytic and lysogenic cycle. Right? Apart from this, they also have special sites which are called cohesive sites or known as cos sites. Right? And these cosites, we know where they are present. They are present on the extreme ends of the fast genome. Right? And they are similar. These are your cosites and they are similar to the restriction sites and also allow the fast DNA to circularize. Right? So, as we remember that your phage DNA gets multiplied by the rolling circle mechanism in the concatamer structure. So, here in the middle you have cos sites. Right? So, after production of these concatamers, the phage genome, it gets circularized to the cleavage at these sites. Right? And then, after the circularization, they get packed and infects other host cells. Packed and released into the environment and get and infect other host cells. Right? So, these all are the general properties of the phage DNA. Now, this phage DNA, why it is a good for the cloning vector? Because it is used in the gene libraries because of its insert capacity. It can allow the larger inserts to be cloned in it, right? Multiply in it so that it is used in the gene libraries production, right? So it can actually accommodate up to 25 kilo base pair insert in it. Right? And there is another important thing about the lambda phages is that the part which is not essential, the part which is non essential for the cloning vectors or especially the lysogenic part which we do not want in the gene cloning. Right? So, this part can be removed from the bacteriophage 
and instead in place of this play, uh, in, in place of this region we can actually clone our gene of interest which are of higher sizes larger sizes right so in this case what will happen now you have inactivated the lysogenic part of the fast dna so it will not get integrated into the into the dna or it will easily but it will do it will infect the host bacterium multiply there right and it will synthesize its protein and then ultimately gets packed into the capsid structure and lyses the cells right or you can also if your bacteria is going into the lysogenic phase then you can again induce the lytic cycle at particular time right so this induction it could be varies according to temperature by giving the temperature induction you can enhance the induce the lytic cycle right so these are some important things about the lambda fast dns you should know about right so now let's talk about the example of the lambda fast vectors right so lambda fast vectors are of two types insertion vectors and replacement vectors so the lambda insertion vectors they can carry up to 5 to 11 kilo base pair insert right and replacement vector they can carry 8 to 24 kilo base pair insert right so the difference you should know about the difference between the lambda fast dna vectors right so this type of insertion vectors they actually carry less or smaller size of dna fragments and they carry larger sized of dna fragments right and example of the insertion vector you can see here those are lambda gt10 right another one is that lambda caron 16a another one is lambda caron 16a in place of replacement vectors there is lambda embl4 is the example right and another example is lambda zap cloning vector right so lambda zap is the popular one which is used in case of phasmids also for the production of phasmids right so these type of vectors lambda fast vectors are used for the cloning of larger size dna fragments right so in this case the difference between both of them is that number one the size insert capacity they have another thing is that in case of the insertion vector you actually insert your gene of interest at particular location right so you digest that portion and then you insert your dna fragment into that region but in case of replacement vectors what you will do you actually first remove a undesired fragment or non essential fragment that one is called stuffer fragment right and in place of this fragment you actually introduce your gene of interest as you can see in this image right and then your lambda fast dna will contain your gene of interest and you can make copies as much as you right so these are the examples and difference between the lambda fast dna vectors so you should know lambda fast dna vectors are two types insertion vectors and replacement vectors insertion vectors examples are lambda gt10 and lambda caron 16a another example of the insertion vector is which are called lambda gt11 vectors right and they are your expression vector they are not insertion vector they are your expression vector right and the difference another difference is that your insertion vectors they actually insert the dna fragment into a particular location at the lambda fast genome whereas replacement vector they actually replace a stubborn fragment and then introduces the gene of interest right So 
this is about the lambda fast dna cloning vectors so in this segment you need to remember first of all number 1 what are the bacteriophages right you should know their general properties then you can actually identify why they are used as a or better choice for the gene cloning purposes according to those general properties the they are modified and manipulated and used as cloning vectors and the example we had seen lambda insertion vector and lambda replacement vector so you should know their examples and difference in between them right so that's all for the today thank you